it has quite um, a menacing look on its face, like it knew what it wanted to do. It looks really flat in comparison to what I thought, and it looks a lot bigger. The fur looks like it's going to be very spiky, not soft. I can see his eyes following you everywhere. It doesn't look like it died peacefully. It was either angry or scared, I think. It's the large and impressive skin of a tiger. You can see the full head with the gaping jaws, the wide open glass replacement eyes, and it's just flat out on the carpet as a tiger which has been shot by somebody and is there on display as a trophy. They might have killed it for fun. As opposed to something that was nice to look at, just something that made you like an important person. It kind of makes me a bit angry that people think they have the right to just go and kill something that's not theirs and that has a right to live and then just use it as a rug. Lots of animals would have, been, have to have been killed just for, their, just for their skin, their heads, their tusks. And I just think that it's unfair because they would have been taken away from their families just for like decoration. The reason these creatures are called the Royal Bengal Tiger is because um, they, it was around the time of empire that they, they got this status of being royal because they were so symbolic of, of India. Tigers have been hunted in India for many years, but I think in the British Raj there became a particular popularity for it, especially when photography came in, because suddenly all of these people that, that went to these big shoots could have pictures taken of them with their feet upon the stripes of these tigers, send them home, kind of show Britain, the again, the grandeur of, of India. It was very important for the British to imitate the habits of the Indian elite. The tiger was a symbol of a fierce, powerful animal, and to dominate the tiger was also symbolically to dominate India, because the tiger was the symbol of India. So when you have pictures of Curzon and other British administrators with their gun and their foot on the tiger's body. It is really a way of degrading Indians themselves and showing that you have conquered the tiger, you have conquered India. I wonder um, how it was killed, where it was killed and where it was from. I asked Lord Curzon, does he have the right to kill a tiger. I would ask the person who made it into a rug, uh, I wonder how they felt when they were doing it, whether they felt like they were forced to do it, or whether they wanted to do it, or whether they, they just guilty. did it. Yeah, or whether they just did it for the money. I think what I really wonder when I look at that um, tiger skin rug is have we learnt from our mistakes from the past? So many animals are on the verge of extinction, but yet we still keep going. Um, and we have these symbols, these objects that remind us of, of how we have massacred whole, whole, um, animal, uh, whole animal kingdoms. And yet we, we aren't really holding back as much as maybe we should.